Hi friends, it's Nicole from Snugglebugs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, then this is where we share all of our amazing product demos, product comparisons, and product reviews to instill confidence during the early stages of parenthood. So today I am super excited for this video. I am here with the one and only up a baby Mesa Max infant car seat. So this is the newest car seat in the Mesa infant car seat lineup. You have your Mesa, you have your Mesa V2 and your Mesa Max. So this one has so many different safety features. It has a completely different base. Um, it has it all. So I am super excited to dive deep into all of the amazing safety features, the new features, and show you the rear facing installs using the UAS latches and the seat belt. So let's get into it. Okay, so the Mesa Max infant car seat. You can utilize this car seat from four to 35 pounds or 32 inches tall, just like the other Mesa infant car seats. And you can attach it directly to your up a baby Vista V2 or your up a baby Cruise V2 with no adapters needed. So really, really nice um, convenient features there. The biggest thing is that the base is completely different. So you cannot put your up a baby Mesa V2 on a Mesa Max base and you cannot put your Mesa Max on a V2 base. Um, so that is completely different, but they are all compatible with the up a baby Vista and Cruise strollers, which is awesome. Okay, let's get into the seat, starting with the canopy. So you actually have a silent canopy on the Mesa Max, and it is going to be 20% larger than the Mesa V2. So pulling this canopy forward, you definitely see that full coverage there, which is awesome. And you have those silent open and close moments. You also have a really nice adjustable headrest and harness. And instead of that white tab that you normally see, there is simply no tab. You're just going to lift up on the seat here. And as you can see, that headrest is going to move with ease so that you can get the proper alignment, making sure that those shoulder straps are at or below your little one's shoulders. You also have really nice side impact protection here on the headrest, which is great for safety features and you have a really, really nice infant insert. So this infant insert is gonna go up to 11 pounds. And then once your little one has hit 11 pounds, you can just remove it. You also have a really nice harness here and these um, shoulder straps. I always recommend taking these off, the shoulder cushions. They are a comfort feature and we always want you to have the proper install. So take these off when you're first installing your seat and your little one in their seat and then when you find that they might be needing some extra comfort, you can definitely add those in. You have a one crotch buckle here, so taking out any confusion with additional crotch drafts or crotch slots. You just have one there, which is really nice, and just a really nice buckle. You also have kind of like a hidden harness release. They've just put a nice little piece of fabric over here, and you're just gonna press that to release your harness, making everything tight or loose when you are putting in your little one. The base, like I mentioned before, is completely different. So let's just take off this seat and I can show you the base. First of all, you're going to have a really nice anti-rebound panel. And not only are you gonna have this anti-rebound panel, you also have an amazing load leg. So both of these are going to reduce crash forces during the event of a collision, which is absolutely incredible. So those are two amazing safety features that they've added on the Mesa Max. You have your UAS latches, you have your belt lock off, you also have a new bubble indicator. So this bubble indicator is going to show if you are at the proper angle and you wanna make sure that this bubble indicator is in the green area and not where the black stripes are. You also have a different button, just a lift button to accommodate the angle of the base. Again, making sure that you have that correct angle for installation. Without further ado, we've talked about the seat, we've talked about the base, let's get into the install. So the first install I'm going to show you is with the UAS latches rear facing. So let's get into it. Okay. 
Okay, so starting off with our rear facing install using the UAS latches, first I'm going to release the load leg. So there's just this gray button here that you're gonna press and then the load leg will come out and we will make those final adjustments closer to the end. Next, we're gonna make sure that the base is at the proper incline. So clicking this gray button here, lifting that gray button, and then moving the base up and down just to make sure that we have the proper incline and you will be looking at your bubble indicator here, making sure that you see that bubble in the green area. So we have a good incline here. We are going to release our UAS latches. So there's an orange button and kind of like an orange piece that you're gonna pull to release those UAS latches. You're gonna keep pressing the orange button while you connect the UAS to the metal bar here on the back of your vehicle seat. Okay, so once those UAS latches are connected to your vehicle seat, you're gonna slide that car seat base to the back and then you are just going to press on these two sides of the base and watch this smart secure system go from red to green. So you really wanna make sure that you are pressing down. And now my indicator has gone from red to green. So that part is secure and installed. Now we're going to get to the load leg. At the top here, there's also a red to green indicator. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you only see green. And this is for the angle of the load leg. So ours is green. And then there's just a button at the back of the load leg here that you're gonna press down to release. So we are fully installed. The base is installed. This base is not going anywhere. Really, really nice and secure. And then you can take your Mesa Max infant car seat, clip it on and you are ready for your road trips, for your adventures. Um, this seat is really, really nice and you have so many different safety features that you can utilize and indicators that you can see um, for that peace of mind. So that is the installation rear facing using the UAS latches. Now, if you wanna use the seat belt, let's get into rear facing using the seat belt and the belt lock off. Okay, so when installing the Mesa Max infant car seat base with the seat belt, again, first we are going to release that load leg. So the same gray button to release the load leg, and then we will make those final adjustments near the end. You also wanna make sure that your car seat is angled properly. So again, this gray button here that you're gonna lift and make sure that you can see those bubbles indicated in the green area. So we are good with the angle. You're gonna slide the seat all the way back against your vehicle seat. And then you're going to unclip the belt lock off here. So it's just a flick of a gray button and then those two latches will be exposed. Everything in blue is going to be your belt guide for your Mesa Max install. So you're gonna take your lap and shoulder belt, put them together, making sure that there's no twists and turns. And then you're going to come underneath the seat through these belt paths, buckle in your seat belt, and then you are going to pull all of the slack out of the seat belt. And this is where you're gonna wanna watch that smart secure system again, making sure that that indicator goes from red to green. So you're going to pull on your seat belt, making sure that it is nice and snug, nice and tight. And then once you see that that indicator is green, you're just going to close off your belt lock off. Here the click and you are secure on the top here. So really, really nice indicator to look for. Next, we are going to finish off with the load leg. So again, making sure that the angle is right, looking at that indicator that goes from red to green and then releasing the load leg and making sure that you don't see any red. And we are good to go. So you're gonna grab your seat again, click it on, and you are now installed using the seatbelt. So those are the two install methods. Another amazing thing about the Mesa Max is that you can actually install this without the base if you need to. So if you're in a cab or an Uber or traveling without the base, you can install this seat without the base using the European belt path that is um, has some blue indicators here throughout the seat. So really, really nice install methods here. And we absolutely love the Mesa Max and all of its amazing features. So that is everything you need to know about the brand new Up A Baby Mesa Max infant car seat. 
If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment below. And if you do want to learn more, we have amazing Learning Center articles about the Up a Baby Mesa Max and all of the Up a Baby Mesa infant car seats. And I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. If you love watching these demos and reviews, then definitely like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.